I'm Victoria Rose. Uh, I'm. Do you like? I'm trying something new. <laughs> How are you? Have you ever had a massage? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> are you single and alone and affection starved? Yeah, not me. <laughs> are you really struggling during this pandemic? Do you work out too much? Do you sit at the computer and your neck starts hurting really bad because that's all you do? Edit? Edit and work out? Yeah, me neither. If any of those things resonate with you, yeah, they don't resonate with me either. But I have the video for you. Did you know that whenever you snap, it's not actually this that's making the noise. It's whenever your your finger hits your hands. Isn't that interesting? It's all about perception. The right perception. Oh. If you get anything out of this video, you get that. So give it a like and subscribe. Like I always say, you might not want to, but I want you to. So please do it. I'm going to take you with me to get a Chinese massage. I've never had one before. I don't know if you have, comment below if you have. To this cozy little corner in New Jersey. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and take a, we're gonna go to get a massage. Well, I've been really sore. I, I usually don't do this self care thing. Um, I usually just be like, no, it's fine. And I do my stretches and stuff, but it's gotten to where there's a lot of pent up um, energy, as you'd say, that just needs to release in me. Your body does store pain and feelings and stuff like that so physically getting a massage probably helps that I'm just regurgitating what I've read and been told that's all I do I'm a robot I just regurgitate so I'm gonna go with my friend and we're going to go and try out this new naked Chinese massage body massage full body naked Chinese massage let's go and I haven't had a massage ever really so Denai said that there's uh, these really good mm, massagers, <laughs> what do you call them? So I'm going to get a Chinese reflexology massage and it's it's really good priced and um, supposedly it's really good. I've never had this experience before and it's full body, right? It's full body, head to toe, 60 minutes. And this is weird for me because I'm not really the type of person who gets touched ever. You know, I'm not, I don't like usually people touching me. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be very strange. Um, and like I said, I've never had a, like a professional full body massage like this. So we're gonna try this today, and I'll tell you how it goes and if it's worth it or not. It's gonna be comfortable, relaxing, um, rejuvenating. Is it, what's it called? Cozy foot spa. <laughs> But Where not, but this? not just for feet. No, it's really nice. Trust me, the reviews Cozy foot are. Spa. The reviews are wild. Like they're very clean. I'll tell like, you guys if it's worth client. coming to or not. Let's go. Yay! Yay! Or nay? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I could not film the ladies actually getting it, but they were very strong. They would like climb around everywhere. Well, I don't know actually know what they were doing. My head was in the hole. I highly recommend. These people don't get paid enough, so always leave it to. They used oils. They used hot stones. Uh, I felt very limber afterwards. My feet felt very like weird like I haven't felt that before because I carry a lot of stress in like my ankles and my feet and I'm like whoa this feels like a new birth I can move <laughs> you're like a whole new person when she was on my one leg it felt so good oh, the sore leg? yeah it felt so good I know I couldn't show you the actual actual massage but I mean that's as much as I could show you on camera Lay face down into there, and I do the whole backside, and then you turn over, and then they do the feet. Lift your face a little. 
Uh-uh. Can you wave? Wave through the hole. Wave. I am. <laughs> Then just switch over. I think I'd give it a thumbs up. Shout out to Cozy Spa. Open to Spa. Well, just Cozy Spa. Oh. It was forty-five dollars. With the tip, it was uh, sixty dollars, and that's pretty good for what they do because they're very talented, and it's a hard job. And it's the best massage I've ever gotten. Yeah, I've paid into like. I haven't had a lot of massages, so I don't know what to compare it to, but it was really good for me, and it's I would definitely really recommend good. it if you need. Like my body feels like a baby. <laughs> but, so uh, I feel very limber. Limber, that's what it is. Yeah, because I, I get super tight because I work out so much. I want to hug those women so bad. The part where they were massaging the hand. It's like right. Yeah. Like this, like, like they were like massaging the hand, and I just wanted to hold her. <laughs> They'd be like, uh, I just wanted to. Can you stop that? <laughs> I wanted to to pause for a moment. And be like, it's like human touch is a huge thing, and it's like. It's nothing weird or anything. It's like for me, especially because I grew up with no touch and I don't touch people in general. It's like it feels touch is important to both of us because yeah, we both grew up with very like you know strict, unemotional, right? Like kind Just of no affection at like, all. You know, I don't think people realize how important touch is. Yes, I will never personally get massaged by a man again. I had one very bad situation happen in LA yeah. and then I said you know it's obviously not all male masseuses I'm gonna try another one again because it was the only thing available and then I had a second not great experience and I, I hate to say it but when they're like older female um, masseuses I just feel more comfortable I don't yeah, know same, I felt, same, I, yeah I, I never I thought about that. I've never very, had a massage from a male except unless I'm dating someone um, <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know why I mean, it's not that funny. She's Shout like, out, you know who you are. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I had such a release. I'm so glad that you're And now I can just like really enjoy laughter more. After that, after that we got some Chinese food. Next time, I don't want to go straight from getting this nice releasing toxin, releasing toxin uh, reflexology massage to go and eating junk food, Chinese food, but it just happened. We're gonna continue the Chinese theme and get Chinese food from Green Leaf. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I really want to go to China and stay at a temple and study kung fu with the monks. You've been good at them? Yeah. Oh. Spring roll? Oh, it's so hot. Shoot. I got General So's uh, tofu. It's actually pronounced General Chow's. Really? Yeah. Wow. And then after that, it's like, you know what? What is the best thing to do after you get all limber from a massage and then eat junk eat Chinese food? Go dumpster diving. <laughs> to the bright hallway of light into the Matrix. <laughs> Growing up, as you guys may know, I did a lot of dumpster diving, or my parents did anyways, and all these, all these pretty good for dumpster diving, but I don't know the situation here in New Jersey, so I'll investigate for you. Can I just vent about something that probably other people have don't think about ever at all? They have a complete system to compact all the trash. Why does every store nowadays have trash compactors? Now? This is the problem with society and big businesses. They actually compact all the trash, so you don't. Tell them what you saw in the Pet Smart one. Oh yeah, um, we went to PetSmart one, and well, first and I tried to open a bag. She's like, "Oh, a sweater." And it, was actually, it was like a bunch of dog fur. <laughs> like it was, it was like a fucking horror movie. <laughs> She's like, "Oh my god, oh my god!" <laughs> but they have, they threw away like good food and stuff, but they slit all the bags in the dumpster so you can't take them. All the things they're throwing away, nice, good things. Trust me, like I, I, I know garbage. <laughs> In all aspects of my life, I know garbage. We hit the jackpot. We hit the jackpot! There's a lot of rules. Maybe someday I'll go into a dumpster diving video. And like this one we found at Party City and we found a bunch of candy and stuff that we're not gonna eat, but it was just fun because we found free things. Um, I don't eat candy. We could, we could start our own vending machine or something. Yeah. 
but usually that's how a dumpster would look at the back of a store. You find things on top that's their package and everything, and if you need to later, you know, wash the packaging off. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. Guys, neither do I, but we're gonna use them as props or something. So party city. <laughs> Thank you. So that was what we did. Um, I know this doesn't go together at all, but this is all I have for you. I wasn't even gonna put out a video because I'm like, I didn't do anything this week. Comment below for next week what you think I should do. Thank you for joining me on this weird, weird adventure. Get yourself a nice full body massage. Bye. Bye, I love you. Bye. Six, trust, Joe, bye.